this derivative, we're going to calculate the derivative at a given point using the limit definition, and our function is going to be a piecewise function. Now, I am going to choose to use the alternate form of the derivative on this one, all right, because I just think it's going to be a lot easier here, okay, especially since we know uh, f of 0 is 2, okay? So um, we're going to start here with f prime of 0 is equal to the limit as x approaches 0, all right, we'll have our function minus f of 0, function value at 0, and then we'll have x minus 0 here, implementing this alternate form of the derivative. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'll plug in my uh, things that I know, so I'll have the limit as x approaches 0, I'll plug in my function, which is sine of a 2x all over an x, all right, f of 0 we know is 2, and then on the bottom there I'm just going to have an x. Okay, now I've got a um, complex rational expression there in the center right here, so I want to algebraically manipulate this to get rid of that. So I'm going to multiply through by the least common denominator of x. Okay, so that's my least common denominator. Multiplying through by x so that I can get rid of that fraction right there. So then I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0. Go ahead and keep those square brackets in there. That's going to give me a sine of a 2x, all right, minus a 2x, and then all over an x squared. All right, now from here, um, I think the easiest approach is going to be to do L'Hopital's rule. If I do a direct substitution here, I am going to get 0 over 0, so then that means I can do L'Hopital's rule. So from here to here, we're going to be doing L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so we'll still have our limit notation. We'll have the limit as x approaches 0. Okay, so when we take the der uh, derivative right here, it's going to be a 2 cosine of 2x. Be sure to include that chain right there. Derivative of 2x is just going to be a 2. Derivative on the bottom there is going to be a 2x. All right, we'll go ahead and put those square brackets back in. Okay, and then at this point right here, I think it's going to make it a little bit easier if I factor out a 2 on the top so that I can cross out the 2s. So a little bit of algebra manipulation. So we'll have the limit as x approaches 0. Okay, let's go ahead and show all the algebra steps there. We'll take out the 2. So we'll have a cosine of 2x minus a 1 all over the 2x. We'll put in those square brackets. All right, that's going to allow me to cross out this 2 with this 2, okay? Now, at this point, again, if I try to do a direct substitution, I'm going to get 0 over 0 again. So then I need to do L'Hopital's rule one more time, at least one more time here. So then I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0. All right, so taking the derivative here, we'll have a negative 2 sine 2x, not forgetting that chain. All right, derivative of the 1 goes away. Derivative of the x on the bottom is just a 1. Okay, and now I can do a direct substitution. When I plug in 0 here, I'm going to have an overall limit of 0. All right, so quite a long process here, but um, calculating that derivative at a given point using that limit definition um, is really good practice and done pretty commonly in a Calc 1 class. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please be sure and share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.